know, I know. I got it, but I got to do this big time TV show. I'm a big time TV blogger, son of a. Hey, how are you? Today we're going to talk about Kafka S3, S3 to Kafka. This is a part two of a video. Um, part one was showing Confluent Platform. In this video, we're going to show Apache Kafka, plain old vanilla Apache Kafka, Kafka Connect. Now, let's get things started with uh, Zookeeper. Running locally, of course. We'll start up Kafka. You should know how to do this. If you don't know how to do this, you're pro this is probably too far. This is just quick start. Zookeeper, Kafka, ready to go. Now, this screencast, this TV show, is meant to be accompanied by a blog post. where, And I'll try to post that link right here. Um, that is um, where you can find out all the links that I'm going to show you and all the commands that I'm going to run to. So if you want to run this locally, check out that blog post and uh, it will show all the things that I'm about to show. Like, we've got an S3 bucket created here. It is creatively named Kafka Connect Example. I'll re refresh this page to show that it's totally empty. The way we're going to authenticate to S3 today is through a credentials file that I have in my root directory. There is more information in this link that is also provided in the blog post that talks about how to authenticate and your various options to S3. We're going to use the credentials file. I think it's the easiest way to start. Um, check this out if you want to get it running. Now, you can tell if you have this set up correctly, if you run some command line options, like if I run this AWS S3 LS against that bucket I just showed you, they should be empty, of course, but it's, the more importantly, it should complete successfully if I've got my credentials file configured appropriately. So that file is there. It's ready to go. I have now shown that I can list it. I haven't done anything really Kafka related yet. I would recommend that you verify that that's set up correctly first before moving on. Also, I've already downloaded the Kafka Connect S3 Sync Connector and expanded it in my share Java directory here. We also have the JDBC connector as well as the source, but that's later on. Um, the JDBC uh, Kafka connector is going to be used because we're going to be utilizing a previous tutorial on MySQL here. Um, again, this is the blog post, and wherever you're watching this, I should have screencasts with that as well. Anyhow, this goes through an example of loading data from MySQL into Kafka, and we're going to use that today as our source data. So if you want to run through all these steps, um, this is also referenced in that blog post. Okay, um, The files that we'll be using for Kafka, the sync, the Kafka Connect sync properties are available in this GitHub repo. I have cloned this repo and copied this file to the location, which I will show you when we're about to run it. So I think that is all set up. Let's um, take a look at our Kafka cluster. Let's just make sure we don't have anything in there right now. So let's list the topics. Oh, this is in the blog post. There's no topics yet. So we have Zookeeper running, Kafka running. We've gone through S3 credentials, um, and we've got a couple of these Kafka Connect properties file that we need to run now. So I'm going to go over and find that command so I can cut and paste it in. This is all in that blog post, and it goes like this. I'm going to load up both of them at the same time. We're going to run it in standalone mode. Here is our bulk source. This is pulling the data from MySQL and it's going to write it to this S3 sync properties. I have that configured for things like the bucket name, Kafka Connect example or something like that, and which topic I want to read from. In this first example it's just going to pull from one topic and write out to S3. 
Um, in the blog post, there's examples of how to configure it for multiple topics and write to S3 if you want as well. So it's as simple as that, really. Let's, let's start this baby up. And we should be, um, should be rolling here quickly. We'll see a bunch of logging that goes through. Um, I can tell by looking at this that data is actually starting to flow through the MySQL employees. If we go over, I'm going to go over to another terminal here. Let's see uh, if we can list some of the topics. Uh, I am lazy, so I am going to cut and paste the Apache Kafka version of that here. We should start to see some MySQL topics that are being created from that JDBC source. Feeling pretty good that it's going to be something out here in S3. So let's come out here and take a look at the management console. Yes. Um, we've got topics. Um, we've got a particular topic data that's being written. It's partition aware. Only one partition in this particular example. And we've got our Avro files being written. So again, this sample file that we're using is available off the, in my GitHub repo. The link to this GitHub repo is available at the blog post. Maybe I'll post another link to it if you'd like to come and uh, follow these links and try it on your own. If you got any comments or questions on this, definitely let me know. I'm here to help most of the time. Um, if I've got the time, I will help. Um, again, this is part two, um, uh, S3 sync connector with Apache Kafka. The other uh, video that I uploaded was for Confluent Platform, very similar to this one, just more specific to Confluent Platform. So that should do it for this TV show. I've got another one in this S3 series. Um, I think it's going to be three total. Confluent Platform, Apache Kafka, that's this one. And then another one, which will be uh, S3 Source back to Kafka. So wherever you're watching this video, it should be pretty easy to find. It's the, it's the next one in the series, the third one. I'm going to record that one next. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a like. If you didn't, well, well, just, well, it's up to you. Anyhow, we'll talk to you later. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. Ciao, ciao, bye-bye.